Hello everyone, my name is Michelle. I go by M1924Crafts here on YouTube and also on Instagram. So for today's video, I thought I would share with you guys an easy DIY. Um, what we are going to be creating together are these little, an alternative for these little metal um, bulldog clips. We'll be making a paper version out of them. So I know the craze right now are these mini clipboards and a lot of us don't have access to chipboard or cardboard or these little these little metal clips. So here's a great alternative and the best part about it is you get to go through your scraps like in a heartbeat. So I'm like, yes. Okay, so here's a bunch of examples that I created. And like I said, we're just gonna be creating a paper version of the Bulldog Clips. So as you can see, I've made <laughs> quite the stash here. And these are great for like ephemera, happy mail, and you can decorate it even more. I just did a basic, um, a basic uh, ephemera embellishment. I don't know what to call it. <laughs> just so I can get an idea of how to create, how to work with it. So let's do one together. Um, so I know in the ephemera packs, oh, by the way, I'm using Maggie Holmes Garden Party. So <laughs> in the ephemera packs, you see all these like large um, pieces of paper and we don't know what to do with them. So I guess you can say you can start using them today. <laughs> or or um, the sticker book. There's a bunch of these like clear stickers and we don't know what to do with those. We're gonna use those today. So um, you will however need vellum and what you will need as well is a file tab punch. I'm using the We Are Memory Keepers file tab punch and then a one inch circle punch and a standard size circle punch. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna find a piece of ephemera that I want to use. And I really like this one. This one's absolutely gorgeous. So I'm gonna cut my piece down to two and a half. Um, but let me, yeah, two and a half by three and a half. Which is right there, but I'm just gonna. I don't want everything to come. Okay, so let me. I am cutting it down to three and a half. I'm just. I don't want to lose the pink. There we go. Okay, so like I said, you will also need vellum. So I'm gonna take a piece of scrap and I'm actually gonna cut my piece two, two and one four. And this is the vellum by three and one four. And it's just gonna lay on top of my picture like that. Okay. So I'm just gonna use my adhesive. And I'm gonna just add my scrap piece of paper. So as you can see, I started, I did the same thing with this piece of ephemera. So now we get to cut the actual um, tabs. So I am going to be using another piece of scrap, a scrap paper, and I'm gonna cut it at one and one fourth. And then what you'll do here is you will just fold it in half Should have cut it a little bit shorter, but that's okay. Okay, so you have it folded in half the long ways, and now what you want to do is on your um, file tab punch, if you have this one, you're going to want to line up the crease to the short end. So I'm just going to do that now because you want your pieces to be intact you do not want two separate 
pieces of tabs. I mean, it will still work if you do have two pieces of tabs, but I think this way is a lot easier. Okay, so before you cut, you just wanna make sure that there is some space up there at the very top, as you can see, and the crease is at the shorter end. And then you just wanna press, and I'm doing two tabs, so I'm gonna cut twice. And I have a little piece of scrap paper. Okay. So again, I want to make sure I'm leaving a space there before I punch it through. And then this is completely optional. I'm going to do one of two. So uh, I am going to cut the little corner, the shorter end corner off at an angle because I like the narrow look. You can leave it as it is, but for my personal preference, I like the narrow look. So I'm just gonna cut and you wanna make sure it's still intact. Try to get it as even as you can. Sometimes it's a little harder. Okay, so now I will be cutting out my circles with the one inch circle punch. And then with my standard hole punch, I'm gonna try to find the middle and punch out the center. Again, I'm gonna try to find the middle. I need to sharpen that. <laughs> okay, so. I'm going to do one of each. I am going to add some dimension to my hinge. This is completely optional and then I won't do it to the other one so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so I'm just using a foam square rectangle, whatever you want to call it. I purchased these from the Dollar Tree um, and then I'm just going to insert it there and then close my tab and then with the second one that we're not adding dimension to I'm just gonna glue it together that's enough <laughs> okay so that should be fine so now with our circles um, it doesn't matter how you do it but just put glue on the bottom piece there you don't want to put glue all the way up to the circle just a little glue and then when you glue it down make sure it's even and do not cover the crease so that fold crease do not cover the hole because you want that hole to be visible and you want it to look something like this Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing to the one that has dimension two. Okay, and here's the one with dimension. And here, whoa. <laughs> And here's the one with no dimension. So I don't know if you can see the difference. Um, you can't really tell unless they're on your mini clipboards. But now we're able to glue those on. Should have used my hot glue gun. It would have gone a lot faster. Okay, so I'm just gonna add adhesive to the back. And then this is where you can go to town because you can um, definitely lower it if you want higher bring it up higher it's your preference it's your mini clipboard you can do whatever you want to it but i think this is such a great alternative and a great idea to go through your stash especially if you have a bunch of um like if you're in a swap or something and you in you, you need to do multiples and you don't really feel like using these little metal guys i I think, I personally think this will be a great I, um, alternative, Lord, <laughs> um, to go through your stash. So 
Now you can definitely decorate it as you wish. I am just gonna add a rose. Let me see. I think I'm just gonna, I don't know how I want to decorate it, but let me just add a rose on the vellum piece of paper so that way you guys can see so see how and then you can just embellish it as you wish like i said i went to town with these i put the sticker underneath and i'm having so much fun creating these i think these are so sticking cute like you can do whatever you want because it's not heavy um so anyways, that's it. That's my video. <laughs> thanks for watching. I hope you guys stay safe. And once again, thanks.